everyone welcome to backbenchers coding in this android tutorial we are going to learn about bound services so let us see what a bound service is a bound service is the server in a client server interface it serves another application component and allows components such as activities to bind service send requests receive responses and perform interprocess communication now it uses two methods which are bind service and unbind service also bound services and the component that started it are mutually dependent so if one stops the other automatically stops now let us see the interface we are using we are using here ibinder interface which is a base interface for immutable object that is whenever an activity calls service it should return ibinder's object to that component but ibinder is an interface because of which its object cannot be created hence we use binder class which implements ibinder interface that accesses the remotable object now let us see the methods we are using here we are using here mainly bind service method which consists of three arguments let us look at the three arguments first is intent service which lets the application to communicate with the background service second is service connection interface for monitoring the state of an application service it uses two methods which are on service connected and on service disconnected and the last argument is flags in which we pass bind auto create in which the service gets binded automatically so let us start implementing it for that go to android studio start a new android studio project give its name as bound services select a company domain and a project location and click on next select phone and tablet and click on next now select empty activity and click on next and click on finish now that a project has launched let us start our emulator for that go to avd manager icon and click on the play button so now that our emulator has started let's go back to android studio close this window and within the resource folder we first go to activity underscore main dot xml go to text tab and remove the text view from here and now we require two buttons over here so for that button width as match parent height as wrap content text as bound service id as bound service we require another button so for that button width as match parent height as wrap content text as unbound service id as unbound service and since we want this button to be placed relatively below button one so we'll write layout below and provide the id of bound service so our activity underscore main dot xml has been done and our design will look somewhat like this now we create a service so for that we go to package right click new service service and give its name as bound service demo uncheck the checkbox of exported and enabled and click on finish now within this we'll remove the constructor from here and make a class as demo binder which will extend binder so class demo binder extends binder within which we write a method as get service instance so for that public bound service demo get service instance and within which we return bound service demo dot this now after this we create a reference of ibinder as ibinder ibinder and initialize it with demo binder class object so new demo binder now after creating instance of ibinder we'll remove these statements and write a toast over here toast dot make text within which we pass the message as service bind after which we'll return the object of ibinder now we create a method called show message so public void show message within which we generate a toast and write message as the message we have passed now we override on unbind method so right click go to generate override methods and here search for on unbind click on it now we'll generate a toast within it toast and pass as message service unbind now we go to main activity dot java within which we create class variables for button 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 bind button unbind and also for bound service demo bound service demo and now we create a boolean variable as is bind now we create service connection object 
service connection service connection equals new service connection which creates an anonymous class within which we see two methods called on service connected and on service disconnected this service connection object is used by bind service method so within on service connected method we will bind services and this method returns ibinder object of service class but actually ibinder object contains demo binder object so we need to typecast it into de demo binder hence we write demo binder equals demo binder service after typecasting we write bound service demo equals demo binder dot get service instance and after which we write bound service demo dot show message welcome to bound service now we write is bind equals true and within on service disconnected method we write is bind equals false now in the on create method we will get the xml controls in the form of java objects by using find view by id find view by id r dot id dot bound service similarly for button unbind find view by id r dot id dot unbound service now we set on click listener to these buttons so button bind dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener which overrides on click method within which we write intent object by intent intent equals new intent main activity dot this comma bound service demo dot class after which we write bind service method bind service within which we pass the arguments intent service connection and bind underscore auto underscore create as i have mentioned earlier now we set an on click listener to unbind button set on click listener to unbind button button unbind dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener which overrides on click method in which we write if statement if is bind and we call unbind service method unbind service service connection and we write is bind equals false the last step is to go to android manifest.xml within the service tag we will remove the last two statements and save your project and run it click on okay so here is our output for our application if we click on bound service button then it shows toast as service bind and message welcome and now if we click on unbound service then it shows service unbind now again if we click on bound service then it shows the same toast service bind and the message welcome to bound service now if we exit our application then also the service gets unbind so this shows that bound service is directly connected or mutually dependent on the component that initiates it so if you like our video please share and subscribe thank you for watching for more tutorials please visit backbenchescoding.com